back to my channel. I am outside in the fresh air on the ship to show you how to make a really super quick, easy vegan ramen. Um, this is something that I will have after a show or if it's cold and you just want something warm. It's just starting to get cold now, so I thought what a perfect time to do a video on this. Um, what's wonderful about this is you can make it in a jar and you can take all your ingredients with you for the day and then whenever you're ready to eat it, just pour hot water over it and it's great. So what you will need are the following. Some type of ramen noodle. These are from um, an organic store, they're bio. Um, you can use rice noodles, any of the really thin type of noodles that will just kind of uh, dissipate in just water. You don't need to boil them. They need that. Um, I like to put in a couple spoonfuls of raw sauerkraut or raw kimchi. Really, really tastes great, adds a lot of flavor. Himalayan salt, just a couple of shakes of that as well as Celtic sea salt, that'll work. And you're gonna want um, a nice clean vegetable broth. A brand that I really like is Rapunzel. This is not Rapunzel, but it's very clean as well. Optional would be a couple uh, squirts of hot sauce in there. This is a really clean and very spicy hot sauce. And then whatever vegetables you have on hand. Right now I have carrots and green onions, mushroom and jalapeno. Something else that tastes really good in it would be nori. Um, just put a couple sheets of nori in there. Um, but whatever vegetables sound good to you, that's what you want to use. And then I like to put in one clove of garlic as well. So let's get started. First, I just put in the garlic on the bottom. And you're going to want to kind of test it out depending on what kind of vegetable bouillon you have. With this particular one, I like to start with a cube and a half. It's not very salty, this one. Um, so I need an extra half cube. But if you find one and one cube is fine, then and that's all you need really. This is truly like the most simple recipe in the world. You just start putting things in a jar. A couple spoonfuls of this. Um, for some reason this tastes really great to me. Just having some cabbage in the soup as well. Yum, I love sauerkraut. I'm gonna throw in your veggies. And this, like I said, is super hot. So if you don't like spicy, you're gonna wanna skip this step. Um, that's literally all I'm putting in there, and that might even be too much. And just a little bit of salt. You can always add salt more later if you feel like it's not salty enough. And then, I'm just gonna break some of these off here. And you can put as much noodle or as little noodle or no noodle in if you want. But I like it, very nice. Nice little meal in a jar. So it's portable, you can take it anywhere, and like, that's truly it. So you can leave it like this, cover it, take it with you if you want to eat it later, or if you're ready to eat it now. Just boil some hot water, and you're gonna pour it on over. And I always think it's best to just put a little bit less than you think you need first, mix it around, let the noodles kind of do their thing, and then later, if you need to add more water, you can but you definitely can't take water away, so to be on the safe side. Then you just mix it together. I'm gonna just let it sit for a little bit with the lid on. And then you just wait for a couple of minutes and you're good to go. I don't know about you guys, but it's starting to turn into fall here. Um, right now I'm sailing to Copenhagen, somewhere near Sweden and Summer is just so short. Um, I'm bummed that I'm already wearing a sweater again, but you never know. We might get another week or so of warmth, so that would be wonderful. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of the ship a little bit more because I'll be going home pretty soon and I, I just feel like I haven't shared that much on this channel about um, what it looks like to be at sea. And I mean, obviously it's wonderful. Every day I wake up and I'm so thankful for the view of the ocean. I just love it. Okay, although the noodles aren't quite ready, I'm gonna give the broth a taste and see if it's okay or if I need to add anything. Mm, amazing. Something about adding this sauerkraut really gives it a kind of, um, kind of Chinese taste. Another thing you could add in if you want more of a, to make a, like a Chinese broth, would be a tablespoon of soy sauce or tamari. That'll also really give it more of an Asian flavor. Um, if you want to make it more like a chicken, you know, not chicken, but chicken soup feel, I would put maybe like some broccoli in, some peppers. The thing that I love about this is that you're not overcooking the vegetables. You're just pouring hot water on them. And so 
they're still fairly crispy. Um, if you had cilantro, cilantro would be great in this. Cilantro, jalapeno, a squeeze of lime, that gives it kind of a Thai taste. It's so versatile what you can make with this just by putting a couple different flavors in. So this is my ramen in a jar. Let me know in the comments below if you try this and what kind of tweaks that you make to make it your own. And if you'd like to follow me on a daily basis, you can always follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well as Tumblr. I will see you guys next time. Bye.